One launch. Just three more matches to our lunch break, and in this one, it's gonna be the Red Alliance at work first. 25.50 drops, or 29.90, excuse me, drops the gear, can't get it on the peg, but they'll launch some fuel as a consolation prize. Whitby Island Wildcats get the blue rotor churning, and 75 to 15, now 75 to 55 as the drivers take the controls. Flags are waving down here at the blue end of the field as the hot wire robot comes back into position at the red retrieval zone. They've got a gear and they're zipping on back to their airship, followed closely by their alliance partners, Rain. Now Rock moving into position. You see them wiggling and waggling. It's that holonomic drivetrain that allows them to move in all directions and gives them a little more maneuverability than a lot of other bots on the field. A collision with Hotwire almost knocks the gear loose from 32-23, but everything is A-OK, -okay and they move back to try to deliver that to the pilots. 90 seconds now to play, and just a five-point advantage for Red, 120 to 115. Two rotors turning on each airship, and each alliance very close to spinning up that third. Looks like just one more gear necessary for either one. It's the Spartronics working hard on the blue airship. That gear falls loose. Whippy Island Wildcats pop theirs out as well. But Skynet says, we got your back, Jack, and they put a blue gear on the airship. That'll spin up the third rotor and keep tabs with the Red Alliance, who spun their third rotor up just moments previous. Now Hotwire is going to try their hand at the boiler again with only 50 seconds to go. It doesn't look like they think they're necessary to get that fourth rotor churning. Little bit of fuel into that boiler, but no pressure built up just yet. Remember, it takes three fuel in that high efficiency boiler to generate one kilopascal of pressure in our teleoperated period. 161 to 155, the Red Alliance lead as the whistle sounds. And the end game begins. A few more gears being delivered, but our Alliance is mostly realizing the fourth rotor too far out of reach. Rock is the first one to get themselves up in the air for red. On the blue side, it looks like Skynet is going to be the first one to trigger the touchpad. Here comes Rain. Quick little drop, and now all three red robots up, all three blue robots up, and we'll let the final seconds tick away. Scores are confirmed by our scorekeeper and our head referee. And as you watch the airships lift off, fly through the sky, it's gonna be the Red Alliance across first. Very close match, 313 to 305 is the final tally. And the Red Alliance takes home two ranking points. Gary, what do you have for us? Well, I noticed there at the beginning, the Blue Alliance got their rotor turning during auto. Uh, and then all three robots on each team climbed. What do you think made the difference?